got a treasure chest in here. The Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps out lost keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame it makes my head shudder uncontrollably. And we got this bad boy. The blood gem workshop tool. So now we can use the blood gem workshop. Even though I don't even think I have anything to really to really do with it. Now we're in the Cathedral Ward. I'm gonna go ahead and light this bad boy up. Talk to this guy real quick. Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever, but it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. The screams of women folk, the stench of blood, the snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell him to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Alright, well, there's a couple of places you can send people. One is here, where they will be generally safe, but most of them tend to go insane or are already insane. Or you can send them to Yosefka's clinic, where uh, some not great stuff happens to them. Uh, in my previous playthrough, I sent them all here, so I don't know if I should keep sending them here or what. I don't even know what I want to do, because there are like there are at least three different endings, and I've done the perfect one. But I don't know which one to do for the playthrough. I know I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, tell them about this here Erden Chapel, if they seem worth being told, that is. Oh, and I do sincerely hope they are. <laughs> So I'm not exactly sure where I should be sending people. I know I should be happy if they saw He's just repeating himself at this point. Alright, so we got that. Uh, we can go that way. Can't go that way. We can go that way. Uh, there's a couple things that I actually want to go do. Uh, and I do want to save up to like... Maybe I should just see if anyone needs help with gas coin. See if I can get up to 10k blood echoes and then buy that one item. So I really don't want to... Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll see if anyone needs help with gas coin. See if I can get summoned and help some people for a little bit. Uh, What did I want to do here? I don't think there's really anything. The fuck? Let I me mean, go check if there's anything new. Blood vials... Hand lantern. Don't really care about much of this stuff. Nah. Not really caring about that. Do I have anything to sell? Anything I want to sell? Probably not. Not really. I have this stuff. Got that stuff. I'm up to 67, 77 blood echoes. Garman back yet? Garman is back. Is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. Most 
of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods. And the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true, one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? Of course. One of the... Okay, he's just repeating himself now. I'll probably do some stuff with the the chalices and whatnot. I probably won't go, uh, you know, all out into them, but this is where the chalices are placed. I don't actually fully understand the chalices, to be honest, but... They can still do stuff with them. Short ritual root chalice or whatever, holy chalice, holy chalice, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so, there were a couple things I wanted to do. And now I need to figure out how to go do them. So let's go to... Uh... Let's go to Central Yarnum first. Or the first floor sick room. Here, let's go here first and see if Yosefka says anything different. We'll make our way through. It's not its not that long of a walk from this lantern to the central Yarnum one. So let's go talk to Yosefka. Let's go talk to the guy by the... the, uh, lantern in Central Yarnum. There's some other stuff I wanted. Oh, yeah, the gas coin stuff. See if she says anything different. Oh, well, hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yosefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well... Off you go, then. If you find anyone who's still human, send them straight to Yosefka's clinic. You can assure them there's no place safer. Please, do me this service. If you find... Okay. Please. That's the end of that. I still don't really know what to do. Because if you don't go for a perfect ending, then there's a boss fight that you uh, you miss out on. I'm fairly sure. Cause the final the final boss fight is like a two-parter, pretty much if uh, you do it correctly. But if you don't do it correctly, then it's only you know one. So, I don't know. I mean, people probably want to see both boss fights, but I want to see a different ending. So, kind of want to do stuff a little differently. Oh my god, I'm fucked. He's gonna eat me. Oh, he took half my health. Well, that could have been worse. That could have been worse. Oh my god. I fucking hate this guy. This guy sucks. This guy's an asshole. There we go. Thank you. That was all I wanted. That was all I wanted. He gives you some blood files, and then guess what's over here? I don't think there's anything over here. 
You just come fight this giant, hard, bat-wielding axe guy, and, like, you get nothing for it. It's just... It's just for the lulls, I guess. Because if there's something hidden over here, I sure don't know about it. Is there a note over here? Charging forth is effective. I mean, I don't, I don't see any items over here, so... This little spot always had me stumped. Yeah, I'm sure people want to see, like, both boss fights, but I kind of want to see a different ending. So I'm not exactly sure what to do. I'm a little torn. Just a little bit torn. with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I take this. Ooh, the flame sprayer. I'll be able to sell that. I make no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> what afflicted me was incurable. But this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate, unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. Uh, okay, so he's just repeating stuff now. I'm just a little bit torn. Now where do I need to go? I need to go... I need to go back down this damn bridge. I'm not exactly sure. Where's the other way? The other way is like the long way, though, right? I mean, either way, I have to go through a bunch of enemies if I want to go talk to this little, this little girl. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. But I can drop down here, and this is a nice little shortcut. Here, let's just go this way. I didn't even go up here. I missed this spot before. There's an item here. More Molotov cocktails. I never came up here before. Alright, come on up. There you go. Don't be scared. Got some bullets. I need to make sure that everyone's dead around here so I don't get, like, a giant group of fucking dudes come kill me. I don't know if these people say anything different. Oh, here they are. Here are our friends. There we go. Worked out. Kind of. Kind of worked out there. Alright, let's see if they say anything different. Okay. I don't think they do. So I guess we'll just leave them alone. The 